<laughs> I was waiting for someone to be a diva, but everyone was pretty well behaved. Um, I think, you know, <laughs> you're all kind of on your best behaviour. No one wants to step out of line. But it's, look, it's great to share the workload across, you know, this many, uh, you know, established sort of actors and, and, and stars and even the, the characters, you know. It's a, uh, there's a bit more pressure when it's just your film. It's nice to, yeah. you know. Well said, well said. I mean, that, that, that's, that's what I was looking forward to. That's <laughs> work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some people uh, refer to this as the, as the ultimate superhero movie. Uh, do you agree with that? Well, it's certainly never been attempted. You know, the, this, this marriage of all these individual franchises and individual stories coming together, um, usually it's kind of inverted. It's, it's, you know, usually they start with this group of actors and then individually they might each get their own individual series. This, this was kind of reversed and, and it's ambitious. You know, it's ambitious to try and bring all these characters together and balance the plot and make it make sense and, and, uh, and then continue forward. I mean, this is just chapter one. We now have to go back and do individual stories and somehow make sense of how these characters came together and then went apart. And Marvel has the work cut out for him, but so far, so good. I think this film was incredibly well written and, and intelligent and funny. Uh, what was your read when you first looked at it? Yeah, same thing. Um, you know, I think the, the, the novelty could have been the, the guys all turning up together and, you know, here they are and that could have been it. But it had, uh, you know, everyone had a strong purpose and motive to be there and, and a great through line of comedy that, you know, links it all together and makes it sort of... Uh, um, you, you, uh, with a bit of humour, allows you to buy the whole scenario a bit easier. Where do you think this idea for uh, for a, all the all the superheroes in one movie? Where did, where did it originate? Where does it come from? I mean, the comic books. The comic books yeah, 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 yeah. And, and some of it's based on, you know, with Thor as North, Norse mythology, and the other guys, I think, um, which is based on, you know, guys like Stan Lee and their imaginations, and then you know, created these characters. I mean, these characters have in endured for a really long time as comic books are known as movies. Both Thor and Captain America. It's like, what what is it about the, what is what is it about these characters that that make them so lasting? What do you think? Oh man, um, you know, I, I was saying earlier. I think I think it's just uh, we, we've we've always had uh, our mythology days back. You know, like uh, even to saints and you know um, our oldest literature incorporates gods and, and, and characters uh, of heightened ability and just greater than ourselves. It just uh, magnifies any storytelling. Um, did you at any time uh, feel um, envy for each other's costumes? <laughs> as much as Mark, Ruff Mark Ruffalo had to wear a, you know, this stretchy kind of leotard with dots on it for references for the CGI to then transform him into the Hulk, uh, as, as silly and ridiculous as he may have looked or felt, it would have been a hell of a lot more comfortable than what we had to put on, you know, yeah. leather and rubber and metal capes and things which were heavy and suffocating, you know. Um, <laughs> the pure comfort factor of the leotard, I think I was interested in. <laughs> uh, when the guys get together, they're, they're kind of all bickering. Uh, is that because, wh why do you think that is? Is it, is it because <laughs> each one is a superhero in his own right? Well, I think it's, you know, it's, well, if we weren't bickering, there'd be no story. You know, <laughs> you, you need a little bit of conflict, but I think the reason it probably happens is, you know, I mean, everyone has their own baggage, everyone has their own um, priorities and agenda, and I think it, it, it mirrors life. It's like in any family. Any f families aren't always a smooth operating machine. People come together, and regardless of the love they feel for one another, there's going to be, uh, friction. Also, some big egos in this group. You know, each of them wants to be a leader, and, and so, you know, they uh, it's a tough sort of team to put together. There's no yeah. iron team. Yeah. And uh, they all have to work that out. I think. Now, um, Captain America sort of takes charge at some point, um, operational charge of, of the uh, the battle towards the end. Uh, how, tell us how that works. What? How does it happen? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of how some of the comic books have it have it uh, ballparked. Uh, you know, it's he, he he has a he has a soldier's background. I think he I think his ego is probably the most in check out of the group. Um, I, I don't think his physical ability can kind of match up with the rest of his team. Uh, but what he lacks in brawn, I think he makes up for maybe in brains and and uh, um, and, and and motivation to achieve the objective at hand. Um, 
So I think it's kind of, he's, he's more of a planner <laughs> than, than exactly the guy getting in there and getting his hands dirty. So I think that's kind of where it, it, it I think that's how it kind of evolved. It's amazing that it, it worked in the comic books and it also works in the movies that these characters who are basically from another era mm. are confronting the futuristic technology and, and enemies and yet we accept that they are as strong and as uh, uh, menacing as these people and, and, and can overwhelm them. Is it, can, you, can you discuss that? The suspension of... The... You, what do you mean about... about Sorry, the, 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 you know you, you, these characters are from a different era. Yeah, yet here they are fighting the future. Can, mm. you, can you comment on how we come to accept that? You know, that's uh, that, and that it works. Well, yeah, I think the idea was to have a threat that was, you know, um, uh, it was so great that it was going to destroy you know, mankind as we knew it, and and uh, so it took uh, key characters from all walks of life and other realms even to. Uh, come together, put aside their own personal differences, and you know, and, and, and fight for the greater good of it all. I think. You know. uh, having this franchise that you go in and out of um, for the foreseeable future, uh, how does that affect your other work? I mean, how's and, and does it help? Does it hurt? It certainly doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, doesn't no, hurt at all. Uh, you know, up. If anything, it's 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 a scheduling. Uh, um, you need to be conscientious of, of when you're going to be required to take six months off and go shoot one of these gigantic movies. Uh, but outside of that, you know, it certainly opens up doors and, and puts you on lists and, uh, and, and makes the rest of your career a little bit smoother. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, same thing, you know. I had more freedom and choice than I had before doing this. And, and um, geez, any time you get to be a part of a film that reaches such a wide audience, that's, you know, that that's benefits your career. You know, it makes it easier to... As Chris said, to get other jobs and be put in the game.